Can you do that for yes. me? The second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law. Yeah, can you let Rumpus know? Because he's thick as shit. Thinks they're different. Thinks one doesn't apply to the Earth. The second law of thermodynamics. going to draw close to it by saying that statement of fact you will never give me the cause of entropy the entropy is a measurement not a cause <laughs> entropy is a measure of what and happens it it's a result of the why? process it's not a when cause did it of anything a science the fiction had... you just answered the question yourself sir you said entropy is not a cause then why are you trying to cause and affect it? We're talking about the second law, not entropy. What? Entropy is the second law of thermodynamics. Yeah. Oh, my God. Entropy is an aspect of the second law. Entropy. No, the second somebody, law. Would somebody look up uh, the second law of thermodynamics? The, the second law of thermodynamics is the... the law law. Yeah. Direction of heat uh, flow. Uh, oh, it's this obfuscation time. Troubling no. news coming his way that needs obfuscating. Okay. Yep, definitely okay. troubling news. Yep, okay. definitely time to rumpus. Yep. What? Your invite That's because you're not over. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely going to obfuscate possible. every word now being said, aren't you? You're not going to allow this. Shut up. So the second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law. <laughs> correct. What? Did you just say correct? correct? Correct. So when you say that really, it's really? describing an aspect of the second law of thermodynamics and when Rumpus tells us they're not the same thing and that the second law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the earth, these are the thrashings of a dying religious fundy, basically. That's all they are. <laughs> Entropy is a measurement of what happens in a process. You said that... I said second law of thermodynamics right. weren't the entropy laws. It is the entropy law, but it's an aspect of entropy. <laughs> it is an aspect wow. of the law. That it is. is uh, nice. no, no worries. You, you have quite you know close quarters with Rumpus. When I say that, uh, I'm talking, talking Sanic. Sanic. Sanic, Sanic the Sanic, don't interrupt the middle of my sentence, please, my friend. I realize this is troubling. You have quite close quarters with Rumpus. I'd like you to let that complete fucking retard know that they are one and the same thing because rumpus and let's be perfectly plain about this who is stupid thinks they're different things now i'm now glad that you appreciate that the second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law and i would like you personally to educate rumpus who is stupid and thinks they're different things this fact no, I that uh, that Entropy law is the second law of thermodynamics, and the second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law. They're one and the same thing. Can you do that for yes. me? The second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law. Yeah, can you let Rumpus know? Because he's thick as shit. Thinks they're different. Thinks one doesn't apply to the Earth, the second law of thermodynamics, openly and boldly declared, because he's a complete retard, and he seems to be going around educating other retards. Now, this is an outrage. Why would this retard be telling people about how entropy works when he doesn't appreciate that it's not the same as the second law of thermodynamics? And I'm charging you personally, someone on his own side who does understand, to tell this complete retard where he's going wrong. Now, I am a well, flat earther, and I'm telling you, the globe head religious zealot, to educate his fellow religious zealot, that would be Rumpus, the retard, where he's going wrong. Call out your own, Zanik. One of your own is fundamentally wrong and telling people misinformation, disinformation, incorrect information, based on his own stupidity and ignorance. And I'm charging you with correcting him. Can you tell him from me, Nathan Oakley, the Flat Earther, that he's a complete retard 
and does not understand what entropy is. He thinks it's somehow well, different it's... to the second law of thermodynamics. He thinks that the yeah. second law of thermodynamics, which is the entropy law, doesn't apply to Earth. And I'm charging you with correcting him, Zanik. Do you understand what you've been charged with? Calling out your own? Yeah. I do, I do. and I think Good! Because he's a complete retard. And I want the world to know that. Just how stupid Rumpus is. And how much he's poisoned all of your fellow retards with his retarded nonsense. He's stupid. And I want that on record. That you, Zanik, are going to make sure you educate him upon the charge of me, the Flat Earther, who knows better than Zanik and Rumpus. Let's get that clear. Okay, so the second law of thermodynamics, specifically entropy, which is part of the second law. Yeah, yeah, so you're going to tell is that. the second law, not part. It is yeah, the entropy law. I'm sharing law. my screen uh, with the Wikipedia version. And yeah, there's a lot involving in it right because it's a, a, a very elaborate thing but when you get into the introduction there's this very clear statement here namely that the process of it all is pretty much can be concisely put as entropy so yes we are no, absolutely no, no. The process correct is entropy. Entropy is the official it's, standard it's time for zanik to interrupt you because what you're doing is affirming that the second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law arwin and they need to blur this line. So he's going to interrupt you, pointing out exactly what we've said to him overtly and told him, charged him with pointing out to Rumpus, who's completely retarded and doesn't understand what you're explaining, Arwen. So he's going to interrupt that. Now, I'm telling you that so it's overtly clear I'm not talking to him and he doesn't need to respond. He needs to leave you to point out how stupid all globe heads are because they clearly think the second law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the Earth given that they all think the sky is a vacuum. But feel free to continue, Arwin, hopefully uninterrupted by a fundamentalist seller. Well, you know, uh, it's basically here. This is the introduction part of the page, because the page is pretty damn fast. It's probably like at least 20 pages. But the introduction is very clear. It starts to describe the basics and then basically says, the explanation of such phenomena was given in terms of entropy. And that just basically opens up the entire approach of it all. And that is the reason why we use entropy when we're talking what is about entropy? these issues. So that is it. And yeah, is but beside, if I may finish up beside that, there's still a lot of other convoluted things in there, even like gravitational systems and all that. So, you know, it's not perfect, but the introduction is very blatantly clear. The You're reading one page of, a of such law phenomena of was given in terms of entropy. What is entropy? Why don't you tell me what it what is? What is then? entropy? How many times we got to answer that question? I know what it the is. You tell me what it is. It is in the, the middle of doing it. But... We must have given you these definitions greater than I, thirty I times. Definition. Personally, I, I have given I'm them to you over thirty times. I'm going to give it to you one last time. Okay. In classical thermodynamics, the dispersal of energy from localized to spread out at a given temperature. In molecular thermodynamics, it's the change in a system or surroundings or their total from which there are fewer accessible microstates to one for which there is an increased number of accessible microstates. Do you got it now? That's two types of entropy, correct? Classical and molecular. They're both entropy. Correct. I've mentioned that many times. No, Boltzmann or Clausian. Yes, that. we understand. You're a clown. Your clown show. You keep on repeating that entropy is energy change. That's all. It has to do well, with I didn't, energy. I didn't say that. I said the you second law it. was energy. You keep on repeating it. The direction Let me ask you this close. question. Can you have entropy change without energy or temperature change? No. Ah, no. You're wrong. Did everyone hear that? He's wrong. wrong. You, don't, you don't understand what entropy is. The demonstration that we have on this show, it's very specifically stated by the guy demonstrating entropy that the only change is a change in entropy when a gas fills a space. Nathan, share my screen, please. We'll put an end to Zanuck forever and ever. And I want my two friggin' G's too, you clown. Now, 
Professor George Porter, Nobel laureate. Now let us look at some examples of spontaneous changes and see how they are accounted for in terms of the second law of thermodynamics. We'll take the simplest first and look at the changes where only the entropy changes. Now one, perhaps the simplest of all these is the expansion of a gas into a vacuum. I have in one of these bulbs some bromine and in the other I have a vacuum. And if I open the tap between these two, you will see spontaneously the bromine rush from one to the other. Now that is the simplest change we can have perhaps because all that we can have is a change in entropy. In this case, the expansion into a vacuum. Nothing else is involved. There's no energy change. There's no temperature change. There's no change except entropy. Danik, turn out the lights. The party's over. We're talking about, we're talking about Earth. You mentioned Good Earth. Good night, clown show. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Hold on. You hold can't on. get out. Hold on. Hold on, QE. Here it comes. Go ahead, Sonic. Tell us about Earth. We were talking about Earth. Is that a, is that an isolated system? That's where and that's where basically Rumpus was coming from. If you look at the Earth as an isolated system, then yes, it would apply in that direction. But it doesn't because it's part of a much bigger system, the universe. Thank you. I yes. Well, entropy can go down. You. Entropy can, can go down in one area. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Gang audio chaos. Clown. Quantum eraser. What? Okay. You talking through him? I've got to stop you as well. Talking through him? He's yeah. fucking red herring fallacy in the question. All right, I he is. No. Yes, he is. But I, I want to hear I him say it though. He is. I know. I just want to hear him say it. He's saying isolated system. In an isolated system, yes, there will be no change in entropy. I mean, no change in heat or energy, but there will be a change of entropy in that system. And it will go up through any sorry. process. Dip, sorry. Okay. Gone. Okay. Okay. I asked him, can you have entropy change without energy or temperature change? What did he say? No. We didn't no. talk about no. isolated systems that don't exist in nature. Are you talking about an isolated, system? Talking about an isolated system or closed system? You fucking shut up. I didn't know what system you talking about. Rumpusing you. When you point out how wrong he is, you were wrong. The system yeah, that was... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me explain to Zanik where he's wrong. You've just had it read out, and that's been played. I don't know if someone can dig it. Oh, Chocolate's done it for me. Perfect. So this was read out to you. One of these bulbs, some bromine, and in the other, I have a, a vacuum. And if I open the tap between these two, you will see spontaneously the bromine rush from one to the other. Now that is the simplest change we can have, perhaps, because all that happens is a change in entropy. In this case, the expansion into a vacuum, nothing else is involved. There's no energy change, there's no temperature change, there's no change except entropy. So without the entropy... Yeah, yeah. Given that he's... Yes. Uh, the question's going to come before you answer it, strangely enough, Sonic. So, given that he had a... Did he have an isolated system in that example? Yes. He did? No, you're wrong. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you think his canister was an isolated system you don't know what isolated example, means yes Ex for example yes it was no it wasn't you're wrong yes because yes because if i had heat applied to that canister there'd be a change of energy yeah that would make it a closed system then wouldn't it <laughs> correct 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 so not isolated then you complete retard that doesn't understand the difference wow. between these systems it's unequivocally not isolated you are incorrect zanik you are fundamentally retarded and do not understand these concepts of isolated systems which don't exist in nature